So here's the, everything that it comes with. Um, it has these little little silicone or rubber things for attaching to the rear view mirror. It actually has an extra set as well. This camera has is able to kind of swivel around to get the right angle that you want. There is a GPS antenna here, which you can um, put on the dash or something like that, somewhere where the it can pick up a signal for the GPS. Uh, this is the actual power, which connects to the uh, cigarette lighter. It also has a USB port there as well for charging. Um, now, you could direct wire this if you wanted to. Probably be better because trying to run this down to the cigarette lighter, there's going to be some wires in the way. Um, but it's fine. You could do that if you want to have it, especially if you're considering you know, changing vehicles. You can... Uh, that's easy to just swap vehicles really fast, which is one of the benefits of this this system. It's very easy to install, and you can swap it out to different vehicles relatively easy. Uh, now, the only thing that's a little bit challenging as far as doing that would be the camera here in the back. Uh, so this this back camera, backup camera, and rear view camera uh, is excellent because you can put this in the rear window. And, uh, and then you have a backup camera. Adds a backup camera, it also adds a, a rear view camera. And for the price of this thing, just having a rear view camera is worth it in my mind. Not to mention, you know, all the different facets. It's actually, the price actually justifies itself on many levels. First of all, it's a dash cam, which is worth the price already. Second, it adds a backup camera, which is worth the price already. Then it adds a rear view camera, which is the price is worth it already. So just any one of those features, it justifies the price, but it has all those features. So yeah, really, really, uh, really good system here for the price. It is, and, and the ease of ins installation is also great. So yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with this. The price is just unbelievable considering what actual valuable features it adds to your vehicle. Now it also includes this a uh, little polishing cloth to keep the screen clean and your camera there, and then a little installation tool. Now this is just to get around the trim on your vehicle, kind of pry it up a little more safely, that kind of thing. And um, so we're tucking the wires and moving the wires, especially th these right here, where you have to run it in the headliner or wherever you need to run it, this is handy to have for sure. So here's where I have it installed. And I haven't run the wires through the headliner yet. I uh, basically just, let them hang out and it's still not that big of a deal right here where the mirror is um, and it's very easy to aim this little this little camera kind of pivots you also have adjustments here on the screen to aim it uh, and it has a wide view so it has a perfect view here on the screen for the front now the back view I have a tinted glass basically in the back view in the back glass um, so it's a little bit darker. I had to adjust the, the brightness up a little bit. Here's where I have the rear camera installed. It's up in the top of the glass. Now, I probably, with a more permanent install, I'd probably have it cupped a little shade around it and then take away, right in front of it, take away the, the tint. So yeah, I would probably experiment with different places to see what's best for you to make sure you get a good view behind the vehicle because it is a game changer to have a rear view camera instead of just a regular rear view mirror. So it works really well uh, on new vehicles having those. It's just, it just gets you spoiled. So just basically kind of swiping through, you can get different views here. Uh, side by side views, front view, back view. Now the front view is interesting. Um, with, the, with the driver assistant system on, it'll put little boxes around vehicles and pedestrians and stuff, and it does a decent job of identifying the ones that are relevant to to right in front of you. It also has like a lane keep assist uh, notification type thing. Uh, you can of course turn that, that feature off. There's the rear view and there's another split view there. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, when you go into this home button, then you can go back to the dash cam if you want. It has the time and date. Also, your speed is also displayed. The little GPS is, uh, I actually have and just stuck it right there on the windshield. It's what you can put it pretty much wherever you want as long as it's able to, it's not like underneath the metal or anything. 
and you have a file explorer where you can look at the you can look at different events here I, ha I said it there's the front ones and the back ones you can also take the SD card out put it on your computer um, so there's the file explorer your smart driving features advanced driving assistance system you also have a blind spot detection system and lane cross alert now if you turn this one on these other two will not turn on so this is uh, you know kind of like usually exclusive I guess uh, and then you have your camera settings here this is where you can change the resolution uh, let's go to 4k all right and then loop recording I set it to three minutes that's the maximum uh, collision detection sensitivity um, sound recording which you can turn on or off here rear view camera view uh, is the, the mirror let's change that to uh, so you can have flip upside down flip the flip and mirror or just mirror and you have the system settings here you can have the the volume sounds how long you want the screen to stay on maybe you don't want the screen to have it to stay on I prefer to, to see the rear view camera but you can have it turn off and the, the actual mirror itself when the camera is off looks fine you can actually see good um, so let's turn it off now so yeah you can see pretty good I have I don't have it tilted down to avoid glare but um but yeah it works well so there's a different you can format to the uh, the drive and everything but yeah you can also have different voices as well uh, for the if you want to have the the voice system talk to you and stuff like hey you know like whatever the, the, um, the alerts are you know that kind of stuff so like I said before this actually pays for itself in multiple dimensions it's worth $120, $120 just for the the dash cam so it has the dash cam front and rear 4k in the front 1080p in the back then in addition to that it's adding a rear view camera so that in itself pays for itself because that that's an add like that's a much added value you know to me I really really appreciate new vehicles that have the rear view camera system instead of just a rear view mirror so having that added on is just pays for itself right there um, but yeah that is, it, and also just like a, it's kind of like a rear view mirror a, a camera like if you put it in reverse and you have a, your backup camera well this kind of serves that purpose to some degree as well depending on where you place the camera so yeah it's uh and also so easily installed you, and you can temporarily put it in the vehicle uh, you just kind of strap it to a rear view mirror and run the wires and uh, you're I mean you know just makes it so simple very easy to get to the SD card very easy to install uh, it has a lot of features and the price is great so it, it's just like all around a pretty good product uh, and I like the way it has the, the the time and date right there and everything so yeah but anyways um, yeah it's worth checking into this is what the audio looks like when you have the audio recording turned on and so I'm going 47 miles per hour, 48, well, actually 50 miles per hour. <laughs> uh, the GPS sometimes does a little bit higher than what I'm actually going. So like my speedometer is saying 47, this one's, and the, and the GPS is saying 48. So yeah, uh, slightly off. It's a, it's a very good estimate though at the actual speed that you're going. In the corner mile at the traffic circle, take the third exit onto Ocean Isle Beach Road Southwest. There's the navigation kicking in but um but yeah the audio hopefully it sounds good if you want to have the audio recording you can uh, but of course in the settings you can turn that off this is what it sounds like